Okay, there she comes. Let's see if it works. What's up you guys? So the thing is that today is my day off and I have nothing planned for today. And I was just sitting on the couch and thinking about what should I do today. And this idea popped into my head. I don't know if it's just a stupid idea, but I think it's pretty cool that it would be kind of great to know when your roommate is approaching the apartment or knowing when, when she or he is coming home. So I was wondering that uh, could I build this kind of application that recognizes when my roommate is approaching the apartment and then it would alert me uh, somehow. So yeah, that's something I think would be pretty cool to do today. But then on the other hand, it's actually one of the warmest days here in Finland. It's something like plus 30 degrees and very nice weather. Let me actually show you. Look at that weather. It's pretty nice. But at the same time, it's very hot outside here. So let me get back inside. So one other good way to spend the day would probably be to go outside and maybe go swimming or something, enjoy the weather. But then again, I don't know, plus 30, it's pretty hot and it's nice and cold here inside the apartment. Inside good. <laughs> outside bad. So I'll tell you what I do. I will code this app and then when I'm finished, I'll go to the beach. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So let me just hop into the computer and continue from there. Okay, so I'm on my computer now and I'm about to start the research on this app and see if I can figure out how to make this. Thoughts I have before diving into the research is that first of all, I want to use JavaScript if that's possible because I'm most fluent with JavaScript and yeah, pretty much no other thoughts besides using JavaScript for this if it's possible. So <laughs> let's dive in and do some research. So I did some research and I actually started off by just googling something like JavaScript build detect roommate and I got for example this one roommate finder app that finds a roommate for you and that's not what we want here. But then I started thinking about this a little bit more and I think we have a plan now. So the plan is dependent on two presumptions. The first one is that my roommate will always have her phone with her. And the second one is that her phone will automatically connect to our home Wi-Fi whenever she's approaching the apartment or comes in the range of the Wi-Fi. So if those two presumptions are correct, which in this case I know they are, uh, we should be able to detect when her phone connects to the Wi-Fi which my computer will be connected to. And when her phone connects to the Wi-Fi, it's safe to say that she is in the proximity. So that's pretty much the plan right now. And I think it's time to start to code it. So let's see what we can come up with. Alright, so I found this uh, NPM package called netlist or network list and it looks like we can use it to scan the whole network of our Wi-Fi and it returns an object for each of the IP addresses and there is a bunch of different properties that we can actually make use of in order to determine if the device is connected and if it belongs to uh, my roommate. So 
I think we have this live prop which indicates if the IP has a device connected in and the host name should be the phone name. So with these I think we can write some code and basically detect when the roommate's phone is connected to the Wi-Fi. I added some code to check if the phone is actually the phone we want to detect. So in this case I just added my phone uh, name here and then we check if it's connected with the alive property. And I also added this if statement here to uh, display any other connected devices in our network. So let me just pull up my phone and I should be connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I should be connected to the Wi-Fi now with my phone. So let's run this script and let's see what we get. Okay, so the script finished running and let's see the results. Looks like we are not getting the host name. Hmm. For some reason the host name is not uh, displaying and we are getting an error for it. So uh, I try to figure out if we can get the host name. If not, we can always use the MAC address. We just need to figure out what the MAC address is on my roommate's phone. But I'll try to figure out the host name and let's see if we can get around it. One hour later. Okay, so I couldn't get the host name working, so we'll just have to go with the MAC address and as far as I'm concerned, that's as good as the host name. So what I did here is I changes, changed the code to use the MAC address instead of the phone name. And we just check if the MAC address is matched and there is a device connected. And if both of those are true, we'll print out roommate detected. And I just ran the script and it looks like it's working. So here is my phone's information and after that it prints roommate detected. So there are still a few tweaks we need to do in order to make this usable. But at least now we know that it is possible to detect any phone connected to our Wi-Fi. So I think it's time for a live test for this uh, script. I added a few tweaks to it. I added so that it runs continuously. Uh, so I placed all of the code inside a function that calls itself after the, scan is, uh, after the scan is finished. And then also I added using the exec and say commands uh, a text that the computer we will say out loud when the roommate is detected. Because uh, let's be honest, if I really want to know when my roommate is approaching, I'm not going to be watching the screen all the time and seeing when the text roommate detected is shown. So it's much more convenient to have audible alert saying that uh, the roommate is approaching. I think the script is ready for a test run, so let's do that. I'm gonna open up my own phone, first scan the network without my phone connected to it, and after that I will connect my phone and let's see if the uh, scan can find my phone. Alright, so let's first test it with the Wi-Fi off on my phone. So I'll disable the Wi-Fi or disconnect it and then run the script on my computer. And let's see what we get as result. Okay, so we can see that the scan went through and started a new scan and it didn't find my phone. So let's now enable the Wi-Fi on my phone and I'll connect it to the same network as my computer is connected. Now it's connected to my home Wi-Fi and let's see if the scan can pick it up. Attention, roommate is in the building. Did you hear that? It's working. Great, so it found my uh, phone when I connected it to the same Wi-Fi. So all we have to do now is just to replace the MAC address inside our script to match uh, my roommate's phone's MAC address. And then it's time for a field test for this app.
So that was just my roommate and she told me that she was on her way home and I think it's time to test out this app. So I have my script running on my computer and let's go see if we can see when she comes outside and then just check out if the script picks her up. I just came outside to uh, scout when she comes and then I'll, I'm gonna run to the computer and see if the script uh, detects her phone connecting to our Wi-Fi. So now it's just playing the waiting game. Okay, there she comes. Let's see if it works. Okay, I have my script running. Let's see if it picks it up. Attention, roommate is in the building. <laughs> it works. Awesome. Yeah, so that's another way to spend your day off building a roommate radar app. I'm happy that we were able to build the app and that it actually worked in action when we tested it out when my roommate was coming home and it actually detected the phone connecting to the Wi-Fi and sounded the alarm. I will upload the code to GitHub and leave a link in the description if you want to check this out. Let me know in the comments if you plan on using this or even making this script better because right now it's just pretty much a proof of concept and it could use some tweaking. So I would love to hear from you if you are using it or planning on making it better. It was really blast to make this video and if you like this please leave a like below and if you're not already subscribed to the channel it really helps out. And I'm off to beach now and enjoying the nice weather that's outside. I'll see you in the next video.